Hey y'all, uh, <clears throat> it's June the 29th, 2017, and you know, before I get things underway, I also did want to shoot a quick video about the art of debate. First of all, debate is a wonderful thing, it's a wonderful creation, all right? Perhaps one of the best inventions ever invented in the world, debate, all right? And the reason for that is because uh, debate, as it seems, is the most efficient way of reaching a solution between human individuals who can communicate to one another. Now, it doesn't matter if they believe completely differently, which is usually what happens in, in debates. None of that matters. What matters is the process of debate. It's more efficient than anything else we've ever seen on Earth, right? It's a wondrous thing. And I, I, you already probably know, but I just got to reiterate that I fiend for that sort of stuff. I watch debates if I can on the daily. I, I love getting down with debates because of the very nature of the process of coming to solutions. All right. And what I want to explain to you is because I've seen many, many, many debates is, um, you know, there are times there are lots of times when in the middle of, of these debates, people see the opposing side they see them not making sense they see them clinging to ignorance and and all sort of stuff they just can't be convinced that their absurd ideas are actually absurd right so you have that uh, other side of the debate the other debater and they might get heated they might get very frustrated they might be um coerced into becoming very animated and emotional all right and very briefly i do want to state um that that's actually terrible for a debate a debate in its in its purest best form is completely devoid of emotions to begin with all right so that's actually not a good thing for for a person who is correct in the debate it is still not a good thing for them to get heated for them to get emotional for them to have to speak over the other person in the debate that's actually very destructive and it, it, it almost cancels out the whole point of the debate when this takes place now what i want to explain for a lot of y'all youngsters out there who might be getting into debates and might be hearing people have debates what i want to explain to y'all is when there's a fool all right when you recognize that you're debating a fool you do not have to hang them you simply give them the rope they'll hang themselves all right meaning to say you don't have to speak over a fool you just have to ask them a question and they're going to begin to run their mouths and show everybody just how ridiculous the inner workings of their brains are all right they'll do it themselves all right that being said there's a link down below if you want to catch this about an hour long uh, you don't have to all right, but what I want to explain to you is down there below is a link to uh, a Jesse Lee Peterson video and I've seen Jesse Lee Peterson in many a debates with very very intelligent people very uh, in-depth intellectual people and also very uh, retarded people like absolute fools I've seen him debate all sort of all sort of folks what I want to point out about Jesse Lee Peterson is he does exactly what it is that I've described in that he will give you the rope and let you do whatever you want with it. All right. And that's what he does in the video below. He's talking to what is referred to as a black lady. And she's all about black justice and white supremacy and this and that white privilege and all that. That's what she, this is a lady who's in her fourth year of university. All right. She's getting all sorts of scholarships and grants. We're speaking on how black people need to segregate themselves and they have to have their own parts of the university and all sort of stuff, all sort of stuff, all right? Jesse Lee Peterson, what he does in such a brilliant fashion, as per usual, is he just asks her questions and she'll answer them and she'll run her mouth. Meanwhile, you'll notice that you can even hear it in her voice. You can hear her voice cracking because she doesn't the more she the more words she says the less confidence she has in what she's saying right because basically she's bought into 
a lie and she bought into it real real hard and that uh, black people all over the place are being persecuted and oppressed and all that and some sort of repercussions need to happen right so she's bought in into that lie Jesse Lee Peterson figured out that was a lie decades and decades ago so he's he's interacting with her obviously they have different perspectives right he he goes ahead gets her the rope and she uh, proceeds to hang herself for about an hour all right you'll notice that like I said her voice will be cracking she won't she'll be very unsure of what she's saying and what I want to explain to you is because the reason that is is deep down in the crevices of her mind uh, she knows that what she's saying is inaccurate meanwhile on her conscientious level she knows that what she's saying gets her rewarded it gets her more school it gets her more money it gets her more funding she's absolutely being rewarded for what it is coming out her mouth conscientiously she recognizes that subconsciously she knows that what she's saying is retarded right? and she doesn't want to admit that to herself there's a gap that's taking place here in her brain and that's why I want to explain to y'all out there a lot of people in these debates they might get so frustrated like oh my god I can't believe that you think this way like oh my god people's lives are at risk because of how ignorant you are and so in debates they'll get heated and stuff and they might think of that person they might be like this this person I'm not gonna say it but this person's a damn retard I don't know how they tie their shoes and walk out the front door in the morning all right I don't know how they do it because they're so stupid that's that's these are the thoughts that might uh, race through a debater's head or the people watching the debate Here's what I got to explain. The other side of the debate, the other debater is not stupid. All right, because if y'all haven't admitted it out there, it's, it's pretty difficult to be in a debate. It takes a lot of brain power. So regardless, if you involve yourself in a debate, that's something that a lot of people can't even do. All right, so there is an intelligence there that that person spouting off about you know white privilege and uh segregating all the black people in the university that person is not stupid all right they're not unable to learn that is not the case what is important to note is that this fogginess of their brain this absolute unawareness of what's going on around them this occurred when they bought into a lie all right meanwhile there's so many lies out there that you can buy into if you want to all right and people see i i, I promise you i've bought in into lies before and i bet you i buy into lies today sometimes the problem is that some people buy into the lie so hard that it takes over their life it takes over their mental process it actually takes them down a very dark path because they bought in into the lie so hard so vehemently that they can't they can't go against that way of thinking now their whole thought process has to be centered around oh for example I'm black and I'm being held down and I can't tell you who's holding me down but I'm telling you that the system's holding me down and stuff like that all right they have to buy into the lie so hard that they, that they can't compute uh, all the different facts around them that absolutely um, just just put their lie to bed they can't admit that to themselves and so all those although these people they have stuff going on in their brain they got all sort of brain waves going on the problem is that they bought into the lie so hard so vehemently they won't let it go and it takes them down a path and meanwhile now it took them down a path and people are watching on the internet and seeing just how absolutely god forsakingly retarded you become and a lot of people get very angry at that and I, I don't think you should get very angry at that you should actually be concerned for that person and their well-being that that person isn't necessarily a bad person it doesn't make them bad that they bought into such lies it just means that they're going down a very dark path and you know it's ultimately all you could do really is pray for these people man they, they don't know what they're doing and maybe one day they'll snap out of it and a lot of them do a lot of them do snap out of it but it, you know if you're debating such a person and you're gonna just call that person, you're just gonna say oh bro you're retarded dude you don't know nothing oh, I can't believe that you think this 
what that's going to do is it's going to enter the fool's ear and what it's going to do is solidify the fact that they have opposition and it's going to make them think that what they're doing is purposeful and intelligent when it's not so they're going to grasp onto the lie even harder if you were to tell them oh god i just can't stand you they'll be like all right well i'm going to believe in this lie even harder and that's what it does meanwhile all you really have to do is give them a rope let them say their whole their whole spiel and meanwhile it's going to start clicking in their head what i'm saying is retarded people are out there watching me be retarded and maybe i want to second guess what it is that this whole ideology i bought into maybe i want to think twice about this right especially if that debater is being very nice to you like just how jesse lee peterson does if the debater if, if you know that you're debating an absolute just they gone down way down the rabbit hole of retardation you should not be mean to them you shouldn't be like you shouldn't want to scold them you should compliment them you should uh, point out y'all similarities what y'all have in common and then firmly but with no emotion assert that they bought into some lies and one day they need to grow up all right and stop buying into the lies all right it's just a nice thing to do uh, overall it's way better to debate people and let them say whatever they want to say no matter what they want to say all right there's all sort of things out there people might want to say that i just don't like right who cares let them say it let them say it let them hang themselves and then we can call them retarded and say hey listen you don't want to be a retard no more come to my side you know we'll uh we'll have all sort of fun we'll eat all sort of cookies and things like that you don't have to be retarded you do not have to go down this path all right i'm not mad at you however you're fucking up and we're in the tribulation so uh, I'll holler at y'all anyways. That's how you debate a person. Let people say what they want. It's called free speech. It is called America. It is called the best country I ever lived. Uh, so, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and debate people. It's fun to do, all right? And it expands your brains and it expands your perspective. It expands my perspective every day and that's why I fiend for it. All right? I love that stuff, all right? But we're balls deep in the tribulation, all right? So that's what, that explains it, right? This is June uh, 29th. 2017 and i'll have to holler at y'all later man we'll come to some solutions and stuff you know i'll holler at y'all